mentorship creates a heartfelt environment where leaders and people can collaborate internally and externally to unite against COVID-19. It provides leadership and direction on how to address key elements on combating the spread of the virus. One of the key focus points that we all have at the moment is obviously the fight against uh, COVID-19 and the impact of the pandemic on employees, communities and our country. But at the same time, we haven't lost sight of the critical, critical focus on occupational safety. To me, it's about taking personal accountability. Firstly, on the care and respect we show towards our employees and communities, but balancing that with ensuring the financial sustainability of our business. The COVID-19 outbreak is unlike any previous crisis. Traditional crisis response approaches will not be enough. CEOs need to act now and act aggressively. This global pandemic calls on for resilient leadership across all sectors and not only in mining. CEOs need to manage the immediate impact but also address the vulnerabilities that COVID-19 has exposed within businesses and societies. Leaders need to empower our people and create an enabling environment for employees to protect themselves, but also to protect others. As us as leaders, uh, we need to show up is ultimately the safety and health of our employees starts and stops with us. I think the role of CEOs in this terrible time that we're going through now with COVID-19 is, is, is crucial that we all understand and accept that, yes, we have to reduce the curve, we have to save lives, and we have to look after our people. The CEO must read from the front. The first thing is to have a proper plan in place, to understand what are the things that can either predict to be happen or not, or the unpredictable to ensure that we as a company have a plan in place to deal with those. I think the second thing that the CEO needs to do is to ensure that we have proper alignment through all stakeholders, being unions, being employees and management, that we all now agree how we will deal with the situation. The Kumbulikaya strategy, remembering home, is critical to us ensuring that all employees, um, management, the leadership of the trade unions, leadership of the industry, leadership of government, continue all working together uh, in this fight against COVID-19. Let us all make sure that we respect the rules, regulations, and the protocols set up to try and eradicate this pandemic. This is not about protecting ourselves. This is about protecting others as well. This is about protecting our families. This is about humanity facing one big pandemic. It's got very special meaning for the hundreds of CEOs of junior and small scale mines in this country where our family or our staff and more importantly, our staff very often become our families. For us, health and safety doesn't stop at the mine gate. It comes home with us. Our campaign to deal with the current pandemic is anchored in homes and in communities and taking care of the people that we love and care about. I absolutely think remembering home will play a big role. If we think about where our first behaviours are formed at home, our behaviours during COVID-19 will direct our success in flattening the curve. It will also remind us of the loved ones around us for whom we need to take accountability for staying personally COVID-free and in that way ensuring that our loved ones, people at home, stay COVID-free. The most disappointing part of the current pandemic has been the exponential increase in gender-based violence as the lockdown regulations eased. This brings into sharp focus the need for us to have the courage to stand up and talk out against the scourge of violence against women and children. There is no place in our homes, in our communities and in our businesses 
for men who continue to terrorize women. We've put in so much work as an industry. And it is easy after such a long time that we begin to waver, we begin to tire, that fatigue begins to set in. But colleagues, we can neither tire nor waver because this invisible enemy is still running rampage among us. I want to remind employees that the lifting of uh, restrictions does not mean that COVID-19 is no longer prevalent and that we can relax our efforts in practicing good hygiene. It places greater responsibility on each of us as individuals to take extra precautions in our daily lives, both at work and at home. I strongly believe that the Kumbula Ekaya health and safety strategy is now even more important than a year ago. COVID-19 came and it's quite easy for us to be sidetracked in terms of the hard work that we've done so far. Nkubula Ikaya means remember home and I urge my employees and my management teams to ensure that we keep safe at work and also at home. Safety remains a priority, even more so while we are also dealing with COVID-19. We need to keep our minds on the job and our eyes on the path to ensure we remain vigilant and put safety at the top of mind on every task we perform. It is important to be mindful at all times and comply with all the safety and the COVID-19 controls. One should be aware and remember that the risks and hazards that have always injured or killed people in our minds are still there. And these still require utmost attention and management. And it calls on every single one of us as leaders, as workers, that we continue to observe and watch and implement those critical controls that ensure that people don't get killed. It is our duty that we do so. Remember, when you walk into the workplace, you have left the, your loved ones at home. They are waiting for you. Remember them. Remember home. Kumbula Ekhai. The Menos Council has played a key leadership role in the fight against the coronavirus, what we call COVID-19, the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, and so this is about real CEO ship. This is about the leadership that the industry is playing through the Minerals Council, working with uh, the DMRE, working with the Department of Health, working with the Department of Employment and Labor, uh, working with provincial structures, local structures, um, and working with the leadership of the trade unions uh, in a fight against a pandemic, um, which is critical to not only ensure that we save lives, but also that we save livelihoods. Thank you.